won the toss and they batted first. Nicely played, the first confident stroke from Pryor. It was a little bit short from Srisanth and hammered through point for four. Nicely played, it was a little bit straight and Strauss has whipped that through square leg. It's a quick outfield, first boundary to England's left-handed opener. It's wide and slashed by Strauss over the top. And four more. In the air, four. I thought just for a split second that he might have hit it right down the throat of power there that's feeling just in front of square, but it hit it right in the screws. Nice shot. That'll be at least two. Probably three. It's a good chase. It'll go for four. That's how quick this ground is here at Frutabad. Magnificent. As I said, you drop it short and you'll be punished. One bounce, two bounce and over the barrier. Nice shot there and it'll go through. How did he get that through? Viru Seawag missing one there. It's a great delivery, and I do believe he has dropped possibly the easiest court and bowl chance you will ever want to receive. I can't believe this. <laughs> Probably the simplest of all the catches. England sweeping and sweeping well, using the pace, manoeuvring the field. And the much-talked-about sweep shot gets four runs for Matt Pryor. That's very, very close indeed. He's given him, finally, he had a look, long think at it. And Harbhajan Singh, the destroyer at Delhi, has made the breakthrough for Rahul Dravid. Rahul. Harbhajan Singh has got the first breakthrough. He's growing from strength to strength. And this time, it was the ball turned quite a bit, and uh, Matt Pryor is right in front of the wicket. And I think Rolf had no doubt, although he took some time, that was plumb in front. Matt Pryor, leg before Harper Singh for 33, England 66 for one. Just short of cover. It was well timed. It will probably run away for four. And does. Gotcha. Oh, there's a shout of catch it. Dhoni's gone round. Oh, shot. Doesn't look too happy. There was two noises, definitely. And Dhoni has taken a good shot, a uh, good catch rather. And Ramesh Power has got his first wicket of the day. It's all happening here. The second wicket for the Indians and Ramesh Pawa strikes. Beautifully flighted delivery, this one. And that drew uh, Roy Shaw onto the front foot. But the flight and the spin took the edge. Good catch by Dhoni. Running backwards in the safe hands. And Roy Shaw departs for none. And England 71 for two. Yeah, come on. Short and wide from Harbhajan, and it's through, the outfield's quick, and that'll be four. Right. No. Well, that's a half-stumping chance. It's given buys, it could possibly be given wides. It's the end of the over, England 76 for two. He's gone in the air and the fielder getting under it. Can he hold on? No, he doesn't. Goodness me, that can prove expensive. That was Kevin Peterson. Went for it. That's what they want him to do, but he controlled it well. 
also bringing up his 50 in the process. His eighth 50 in one day international cricket. I have no ball, and Kevin Peterson hit it. It's a good effort, very good stop out there. A deep square leg, and there could be a run out off a no ball. And that is terrible cricket. It really is. A real chance. The running was poor, the throw was poor, and Dhoni struggled to take the ball, and there was an easy run out chance. Just watch the running here. Peterson thinks he's got four. Strauss wants to come back for two. Peterson sends him back. A good throw, and Peterson was gone. It's all happening here in Furudabad. Well, did magnificently to stop the ball, Gautam Gambhir, and all India required was a good throw. And there you go. That's exactly what Raul Dravid needed. That's why he went back to his front line off spinner. You've always got to get your best bowlers on to try and take wickets. And Dravid has got his man. Andrew Strauss has gone for 61. Big relief for the Indians. They needed to break this partnership, and the length was good. Again, picking the wrong line was Andrew Strauss. Just a lapse in concentration, giving his wicket away when he was looking at very good touch. And Ramesh Pawa must be a very relieved man. Rob to Siddha. Straw's gone for 61. It's 135-3. Now, has he lifted his feet? His back foot might well have come up. The third umpire has been called for. And this is not what England need. There it is, the stumps are broken, the bales, are they up in the air? The bales up in the air. It's very, very close to call. He's given him in. I think the third umpire was right. Down the pitch, it starts. I've just come straight on. Can you believe that for a shot? Power, the red sunglasses. Is Batman like, or is it the Riddler? He certainly threw up a riddle there and he couldn't answer it. Could be the disaster for the England. And Pawar strikes again, comes out of the crease, completely misses the line, and is easy stumping for Dhoni. The Indian captain, I beg your pardon, the England captain has to walk back. Andrew Flintoff stump Dhoni, bowl power for five, England 143 for four. Swept hard this time, found the gap, all the way for four. Smashes it this time to the point region, that might go all the way for four. Covers is in pursuit, and couldn't do much about that. And that will go for four again. This is really a problem for the skipper. Big hit. Going, going, gone. I tell you, when he hits him, and I don't think he got half of that either. That's a big one. Oh, Chetra Raff, he hits it yeah! out. He's got a piece of work by Dhoni. Oh, you little champ. Side on throw. Peterson sent him back, and that's a big wicket there for England. Great work behind the stumps from Dhoni. Great presence of mind. Paul Collingwood wanted a single and never realized that Dhoni could be quick on his feet. Picks it up, turns around. All he could see is just one wicket. And hits the stumps. Bingo. Paul Collingwood walks back. Run out for five. And England 174 for five. Oh, 
down the track. It's gone the height, and it's also gone the distance. What a striker of the cricket ball. Kevin Peterson has decided that he will let loose. To break free, Kevin Peterson, and looking dangerous for the Indians. Yuvraj Singh has picked him up. The flip side of Peterson's aggression and risk-taking, of course, he gets out. And all of a sudden, England's tail is exposed with still eight overs remaining. Trying to work Yuvraj against the spin. And a simple leading-edge catch through to straight mid-wicket. Key wicket for Yuvraj Singh and India at the end of the dangerous Peterson. It was another good innings. 71 off just 87 balls, but he's gone now. And England's tail is exposed. 193 for six. Bowled in. Beautifully bowled. Far too good for Blackwell, who didn't pick the slower ball. It was an excellently disguised slower ball from Srisanth. And the dangerous Ian Blackwell is on his way back to the pavilion. It is very important for Srishant to learn his lessons very quickly. Much better thinking, he got to bowl in the right areas. And when you do that on a responsive pitch, you will pick up wickets. Well, he'd be relieved after an expensive first spell, bowling in the death. He's picked up the wicket of Blackwell. He's gone for nines, 214 for seven. India coming right back into this match. Finding these seamers very, very difficult to hit at the end of the innings. Another slowish delivery from Irfan Patan. It wasn't a slower ball, but it was only bowled at 109 Ks. And it honed in an off stump, and it was far too good for Liam Plunkett. Plunkett, gone for four, 221 for eight. Hits it nicely, but he finds the man in the deep. What a pity. Jones got the middle of the bat. But he found Gautam Gambhir right on the mid-wicket fence. Played a decent little innings, Geraint Jones, but he's really struggled to get hold of these seamers at the end of the innings. There's no pace from the pitch at all, and the man... Gambier, a good 10, 15 yards in from the ropes, takes a simple catch. And Geraint Jones, decent little innings, 22 off 29 balls, 2 2 3 for 9. Ball in! Three sharp in the second spell, has done wonderfully well. Right into the block hole, and when the batsman misses, you hit. Well, this was quicker delivery from Swissanth, having bowled lots of slower balls. This is a delivery at 139 kilometers an hour, so he's varied his pace exceptionally well. And James Anderson giving himself plenty of room outside leg stump. Sees his off pole uprooted. Once Kevin Peterson went, and as we said, it opened up England's tail to the Indian bowlers, and England have subsided fairly swiftly from that point onwards. 2 2 6 all out, it's not a bad score. It's maybe 15, 20 runs shy of where they might have hoped to be, but it gives them a fighting chance. Well, England got to within one ball of using up their 50 overs in that innings. Good performances by Strauss. Welcome return to form for him with 61, and Kevin Peterson, who seems to go on and on, 71. Prior 33, and Jones 22, the only other two scores of note. India's bowlers, well, power brought into the side for his off-spinning capabilities, did really well. Three for 34. Srisanth, uh, three for 40, finishing the innings well. Patan, two maidens, one for 29. Good performance by him. So England then 226. They may think there are 20 or 30 short there. We'll see how India get on chasing 227 at four and a half and over in just a minute. That's a cracking shot. Left-handers like it through square cover. He was given the chance, and he took it with both hands. Gambier's away with a boundary. Well, that is very wild from Kabir Ali. 
And it's signalled four wides. Oh, another cracking cover drive from the left-hander. That's two from two. And everyone is talking about the trouble in this pitch and how difficult it is to score. Well, Gautam Gambier doesn't think so. He's got eight runs. Well, that's full, and it's wide, and it's put away for four. And India are getting off to a flyer. Well, you don't have to move your feet when you hit the ball as crisply as that. Oh, that's short. And Brenda Sewag has the confidence just to roll his wrists on it. Probably didn't intend to get it away this fine. You can have as many fielders as you want in that area. Brenda Sewag usually finds the gap with the square cut. And he's knocked him over, has he? Jones thinks so. He looked to play the paddle fine, getting a little too across for in the Sebag. And he's dismissed the breakthrough that England were looking at. Well, it's England's batsmen who were criticised for the sweep stroke in the last game. And this time, Verenda Sewag playing the shot and playing it badly. Ball just dribbling onto leg stump. The end of Sewag just when he was starting to look dangerous. 26 off 45 for him, 61 for one in. But that's a poor delivery, and Gambier is all over it. In the air, that's out. Got to be. He said, clear out. It's mine. Good night. What a soft dismissal once again. Just talking about uh, Gautam Gambir. Spoke about how those good beginnings doesn't get translated to uh, the big scores. And once again, Gautam Gambir finds himself up against the wall. Gautam Gambir walks back, caught and bowled James Anderson. There was no position to play that shot. There was not much uh, bounce on the wicket. And he has to walk back. Gautam Gambhir goes for 29, India 70 for 2. No oh, lucky. Oh, he dodged a bullet there. Beautiful piece of work by Jones. Oh, Check for right. Right. He's I think... gone. I swear he's gone. They're going to the third umpire. What has happened here? It's just chaos. He didn't know where the ball was going. The stump. The balls have been hit by the stumps from Jones. The major point is he had to pick the stump up with the ball in hand. Now, he's gone to the third umpire. Let's have a look here. It's out of the ground now, and his bat's still in the air. It's not completely out, though. So many different interpretations on the laws, and his bat's in the ground there, but it's right in between frames. But, you know, the wicket is firmly no, in the, the ground. No, the point is, though, the bail is still on the on, on the leg side. They can remove the bail, and that is out to me. The bail, the leg side bail, is, is, that is out. Correct. Great piece of work. Very good umpiring by the third umpire. And there goes Rahul Dravid. It uh, wasn't uh, that bad a delivery from James Anderson, but it was swatted away through the leg side imperiously by Yuvraj. And again. Four more is the signal. It was a sweet strike from Yuvraj, 80 for three. That must be close, yes, up goes the finger, it was a short ball and Mohamed Kaif went to pull and it didn't bounce, hit him about knee roll height and absolutely no doubt about that one. Well, just reward for some fabulous bowling by Plunkett. He's just given four runs so far into his fourth over, slightly short, didn't quite get up but he's bowling pretty quick.
136 k's on that one. The only thing that could have saved him was if there was any doubt about the height. But the umpire had no doubt in his mind at all. Good wicket for England again. It's now 80 for four and India struggling. Firmly driven down the ground from Yavraj. He really looks as though he means business today. And I think this is the key wicket for England to take. Slower ball. And picked, waited for, picked. And whistled to the mid-wicket boundary for four more. Yavraj on song. Beautiful piece of bowling from Blackwell, excellent captaincy from Flintoff. A poor stroke, it must be said, from Yovraj, but a crucial wicket for England. Well, this is almost suicide. New bowler comes on to bowl. He's an off-spinner. It's not that short, and you're cutting an incoming ball. That is considered basic. Just chopping it on, he'd be very disappointed with this shot, Yovraj saying. India sinking deeper and deeper into trouble. Yuvraj Singh gone for 18 of 20. It's 92 for 5 now. That's a cracking shot. Shot of the day for me. Rainers hit it on the up through the offside. It's not an easy pitch to pierce the outfield. And he's hit that like a shell through extra cover. He's got through. A wonderful little flick of the wrist from Suresh Raina, and he breaks it through the gully region. Oh, how unlucky is that? It was a great effort. He had the ball in his hand. It would have been one of the great court and bowls. And if you look at the replay, just as his elbow hit the ground, what happens? That. So unlucky. What an effort, James Anderson. Big hit. Going, going. One bounce. That'll be four. It just comes the time where they're going to open up here. He's gone over the top and just cleared the man in mid on. Suresh Raina taking the attack to the opposition. It's gone for the reverse sweep. He's made decent contact, but hasn't got enough to get to the fence. And India once again picking up a boundary very early in the over. Get on it! Bowl it, Freddie! Could be very, very tight indeed. You do not want to press the panic button. Slower ball from Collingwood and Rayner does go to 50. I hope he doesn't over celebrate here. I hope Mahindra Singh Dhoni goes down, has a word with him. Well played, young man. But it's not finished. That crowd in the background, those people. 50's not enough for them. They want a victory. He's gone for the bull shot. And he picks up a boundary to win the over. What a shot. It's 182 for five. He's gone over the top and he's cleared the boundary ropes by quite a distance, Suresh Raina. Gone in the air. Always oh, shall the field over the boundary. Again, the Indians start the over with a boundary.
Oh, he's trying to be very cheeky. It's proved effective. Wasn't exactly required in this situation. He got a boundary in the last ball. He's taken a lot of risk. And he gets another boundary. He's good through the offside. And what an innings he's playing, Suresh Raina. Probably the innings of his life. Eighth boundary. Or a drag on. Just as you say, he's not played the slog. What does he do? Slogs the slower ball across the line and drags it onto his off stump. Well, he's played extremely well. And look at the crowd's reaction. They are disappointed. Not exactly the kind of shot that he required to play against a good bowler like Andrew Flintoff, who bowls a slower delivery. Downey into the shot a little bit early, getting a thick power of the inside edge and dragging it back onto the stumps. England have picked up. Tony, but has it come a little too late? Tony gone for 38. It's 210 for six. And there he goes. Signs off the match in fantastic fashion. Irfan Patan has brought off the winning runs. And what a remarkable victory for India. Well, England had their chances when India were 92 for five, but it was a wonderful performance by Suresh Raina, 81 not out. He won the Man of the Match award with that innings that uh, saw India home in the end. With